16. Perfect roll for Mika. Not too many, not too few. He's not at risk because he's in the chip lead. He's got a pretty good groove going. He feels good about himself. And he's in the perfect position here. And uh, I got a feeling the way these guys are playing, we may see a rematch in the very near future. We'll see. All right, how am I doing here? You like it? All right, 16. It's a dog fight. It's a dog fight with the big dog cube. He makes a ball on the break, he makes two balls on the break. And he has a lousy shot on the two. It's a lousy, lousy, lousy lead. Not only is the two a lousy shot, but the 10 and the four make it even worse. So uh, my guess is he's gonna try and figure out some way to play safe. He'll probably push the two in the 10 and bring the cue ball down here and try to hide it between the five and the seven. I can only imagine do, doing that because I can never pull it off myself. No, we're just gonna touch it in there and, yep. Just makes it nasty, just makes it nasty. See what Johnny's got up his sleeve here. He's gonna make it nasty too. May even make it nastier. He's gotta hit the two ball and cause another ball to go to be driven to the rail in order for it to be a legal safety. If he doesn't, it'll be a scratch. So uh, you can bet that uh, Meek has got a close eye on what that, what's gonna happen here. We don't have a referee per se in this game, but these two, these two guys are gentlemen. And uh, as you saw when Mika gave uh, chips back to uh, Johnny that he overpaid him, uh, these guys aren't gonna cheat each other in any way, shape, or form. They're professionals and gentlemen at all times. This is a real safety battle here. And uh, here we go again, he put the two right back where it was. This is gonna to be tough for Johnny because he's gonna to have to kick. He cannot see the two, he's gonna to have to kick. And he's gonna have to avoid hitting the four or the 10 first. This is very close and everybody over in that corner is up watching. This is critical. Of course, even if he gets ball in hand, if he hits it softly enough, the two could still be jammed up no matter what. Nope, foul. Now that is one foul. We're playing three foul rules. So Mika has ball in hand and he will undoubtedly try and put Johnny in a position where he's on two fouls. But I don't know how he's gonna do it. We'll see, we'll see. I'm surprised he's putting the cue ball that far away. Oh, he's, oh, he's taking an intentional foul and he's put that, he has put that nine ball in a position where it may be impossible for Johnny to hit it. I don't think there's enough space between the four and the nine. That was a hell of a play, I never thought of that. Intentional foul, moving the nine ball into the, and there is no way that Johnny, no way physically for Johnny to hit the two ball first. So Johnny's gonna to have to take an intentional foul. Uh, what Johnny needs to do is avoid getting on two fouls in a situation where Mika can hide him again, because then it'll be three fouls and he'll lose a rag. This is very, very interesting. And so he's gonna intentionally foul two with a nine ball and see if he can make, put Mika in the same situation that he was just in, where it's impossible to see the, the two ball. I've, uh, you rarely see this in pool. This is a real cat and mouse game. So he's gonna intentionally foul. Oh, he tried to freeze the cue ball 
Oh no, it's a foul. Okay, so Mika has the ball. So what's Mika gonna do? Johnny's on two fouls. Johnny's on two fouls. Mika's gonna try to leave the cue ball behind the four and bring the cue ball down around here in the, in the left corner and make it nearly impossible for Johnny to see. And he did not do it. Johnny can see the two ball, but he's got to hit over the seven. And the two ball is not frozen on the rail. So Johnny should be able to get out of that situation. I know. Johnny should be able to get out of the situation if he can hit the two ball first. And he does. Johnny escapes the two foul in an unbelievable safety battle. <clears throat> well played, gentlemen. Quite interesting. Wow, two, three intentional fouls. No. Three intentional fouls to bat that safety battle. You, you almost never see that. Most pool players wouldn't even think to do that. And after all that, Mika dogs the two ball in the right hand corner. So that's, uh, he's taking that shot over in his mind right now. He hates it, he's disappointed. But it's a big opening for Johnny because Johnny needs some, some of Mika's chips. Johnny needs some of Mika's chips. And uh, he is not in the mood to double after that safety battle. Five and a seven are a problem. He's got some issues here. He's got to come back somehow on that, to get on that four ball on the rail. It's a very difficult shape shot. He may be straight in on the three or may have just a very little angle. He's up, he's up top of it, if anything. He's not below it. So that's good. But the potential of him driving the cue ball into the eight, five or seven is, oh, he missed them all. What draw? What draw? Amateur pool players never make that shot. They don't have the control to do that kind of a draw. Gonna slide it up the rail. Come down here. Now we've got a very difficult five ball shot. I don't think he can cut it without hitting the seven. So he is going to play it in the side corner. This is almost an impossible cut, cut bank. And he doesn't make it, but it's a two-way shot. He leaves it up at the end of the table and he hides it behind a seven. So Mika is hooked. Hooked in a big way. <laughs> you guys are tough, aren't they? <laughs> All those intentional fouls, that was wild. Once again, every match we film with Casino Billiards ends up being so intense. There's so much pressure on every shot, and Mika cannot get to the five. He's taking the shot over again in his head. He does that a lot. He wants to know why he missed. Why he missed. And he is disappointed. So Johnny's at the table. He's not raising. He's not raising. These guys have been through some shaky times here, and I think that both of their confidence levels have been a little shaken after the last couple of racks. There's a lot of pressure on these guys. I mean, it's only $300, but these guys don't like to lose even 10 bucks to each other. Can you imagine what this game would be like if it was worth $20,000? These guys would be twitching and shaking and keying down their legs. Who knows? Who knows what, huh? Oh, Josh? <laughs> Did I say that on the air? Edit that, Brian, edit that. Or don't. Okay, Johnny's up there and he's uh, left himself. A tough cut on the nine. Not that he can't do it, but it's gonna send Whitey a little bit wild if he isn't careful. You gotta hit the just the right speed. And uh, of course he does exactly that. No. <laughs> They got the chip racks way down here out of the way. They want the table cleared. It's a very important shot. Johnny needs these chips badly. This is going to bring it just about even again. This is, this is unbelievable. This is going to go until somebody rolls a 64 and runs out. It's going to take a 64 with both these guys all in to make anything conclude here. 
It's just a question of when it's gonna happen. Pay the man, pay the man, 16. You guys are awesome. <laughs> you guys are really awesome, Johnny. This is a real treat. Is that 16? 